All right, Razor, channel your inner bird dog here. What did you think of the kid as a performance at the Memorial Cup? Liked it a lot. Um, really bullish on the way that he played. He, For a young player, he, he took a leadership role. He was playing important minutes uh, through this tournament and pretty pretty interesting to see how much they leaned on him. Uh, for me, this is a, a kid I would take high in the draft. Yeah, no, I'm with you on that one. And the performance certainly backed that up. Thanks for this. This over the weekend, from what I was told, the Montreal Canadiens had an interview with the youngster. And yeah, how about that, Le Glorieux? And how does that play out in La Belle Province? There's a very intriguing symmetry between the Habs and this youngster. And I do wonder, is this going to be a fit on draft day? With much more of their thoughts on this, we're going to head down... From what I was told over the weekend, the New Jersey Devils had a fairly lengthy interview with the kid, and boy, oh boy, New Jersey's a fascinating sort of wild card in all of this, right? When you think of some of the past few years with some first overall picks, how they've kind of navigated the draft with top picks and, and their first rounders, this is an interesting one. The Devils could possibly come into play with this one here. A lot of different scenarios playing, a lot of rumors floating around as well. As we inch closer and closer to the big draft day and I'll tell you what we look at some of the draft rankings and some of the scouts that I've talked to I think we're all kind of on the same page we've got this kid ranked pretty high and he has put himself in a position to be a very high selection in that first round when we get to draft day keep an eye on him mark my words anybody who passes on him may be regretting this one in a big big way five ten years down the road all right time for a quick break we'll get more reaction on this next
continuing our conversation with Ray Ferraro here on the show. And, man, it's got to be a nice moment for the kid getting drafted and hearing his name called. Uh, it's better than that, James. It's the realization, really, of a lifelong dream. I mean, since he's a little kid, he's been dreaming about getting drafted into the NHL. Now, the understanding that we've got is that the kid was supposed to be heading down to the rink sometime today to kind of check out the new surroundings. This has got to be like the first day of school, Razor. Guaranteed he would have gone early to go and take a look at the locker room. You walk in there for the first time, you can't believe your lifelong dreams are about to happen. And when you're looking around, I'm assuming, you know, is he thinking the nameplate might be up there? Oh, you're hoping, but, you know, yeah. he's going to learn that those trainers don't miss very often. The jersey's ready. Your name has never looked so good as when it's on top of your stall. But what I remember, James, is the excitement, the nervousness, how scared you were. And then you're like, I'm in an NHL room. I can't believe this. It is the very best of feelings that you can have till you step on the ice the first time. Nice opportunity for management and their prized possession, the new shiny draft pick, to kind of have a chance to sit down and get an understanding of where each other kind of sits, what their respective expectations are. You know, it, I know a lot of fans are wondering, can he make that jump now? Can he make that jump and be an impact player in the National Hockey League? I think management took him for a reason. There might be that opportunity. I think he's going to get that shot. He's going to get every opportunity to try to make the team this coming year. It's ultimately on the player to ultimately deliver on that, right? So we'll wait and see how things play out. But it certainly sounds like both sides feel very good about this fit based on everything that I've been told. All right, time for a quick break. We're coming back with much more on the end. Well, there's your latest addition for your trivia question. Who was taken first overall this particular year? And there you have it. The answer is made, and I tell you what, no argument on this side. Uh, I think this was the clear-cut choice. This kid checks all the boxes. And look, the term generational talent gets thrown around way too loosely these days. But I like what I see in this kid. He's got a chance to be a real franchise player. And this organization finally has something to really build around and take this franchise and give this fan base really something to cheer about. All right, we'll break down some of the other uh, notable selections and we'll do that now. He signed, sealed, and delivered. Yes, the entry-level contract, better known technically as the ELC. Yeah, you know me, uh, is signed up. And now it's time to find out if he can live up to the hype. I think fans would love to see him make that jump to the opening night roster. Management would love to see it. And I know the kid has every intention of trying to crack it, too. All right, enjoy it. The honeymoon's almost over because it's time.